Kathy. Yeah, yeah. Vic needs to get her pick dressing done. Oh, I've seen it done before, but I've never actually done it. I was wondering if you might be able to help me, um, just talk me through it and supervise my practice. Sounds great, Jane. Why don't you get the trolley and clean it, gather the equipment that's on the list, and I'll meet you there in five minutes. Thank you so much. The trolley has been washed with the detergent wipes and the sterile stock placed underneath. The packaging and expiry dates have been checked. The nurse washes her hands and then prepares the trolley by opening the packets according to the aseptic non-touch technique procedure. I always check the expiry dates, then peel open the packaging to avoid contaminating the aseptic field. Hi Vic, I'm Jane, one of the nurses. I'm going to do your pick dressing now, is that okay? That's fine. I've just got Nurse Kathy here, she's going to watch me do the procedure. Okay. Position her arm to reduce the risk of contamination. Vic, I'm just going to put this plastic sheet under your arm. Now if you can just lie your arm there and then if you can look to the side for me to try not to breathe on the pick line. Okay. I'm just going to go and wash my hands, I'll be back in a minute. Do you want me to take the dressing off for you? Remember not to touch the dressing. Your fingers could have germs on them. The pick line sits so close to the heart that there really is a high risk of infection. Oh no, it's best not to touch the dressing at all. Leave that up to the nurses. It can cause infection if you touch the, if you touch the um, pick. The nurse washes their hands and dons their protective equipment. I'm just putting my gloves on now, Vic. How long have you had the pick line for? Oh, three weeks, yeah. And I've noticed everyone does it a bit differently. It is normal for clinicians to have slight variations to a technique, but we all follow the aseptic principles in the hospital procedure. We all do do it a little bit differently. You will notice um, that there are some differences in procedures, but then there are a lot of similarities. So we all use the gloves, the chlorhexidine solution, the sterile pack. Okay, that's yeah. good to know that all differences yeah. are different, but it's all good for me. Remove the old dressing using solvent wipes. I'm just going to remove the old dressing. It's a bit sticky sometimes, so I'm going to use a remove wipe. Okay. Is there any pain or itching at the site? No, no, no. It's all good so far. Let us know if there, if there is any pain or itching. We always remove the dressing from the bottom or the distal end so that we won't dislodge the pick. If there is, we can try a different type of dressing for you, so you don't always have to use this one if you do find it becomes an issue. Those removal wipes are brilliant. They are really, really good. They make it a lot easier on your skin. I'm just starting at the bottom of the pick to ensure that it stays in place. Is this feeling all right? Yeah, yeah that's good. It's a bit cold, but it, it doesn't hurt. Sometimes it just takes a little while. I keep my arm really still. You're doing really well. A little bit of dried blood here that's just, there we go. I'm just removing the stat lock now. You might feel a little bit of a pinch. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. It's very sticky. Mm. You're doing a great job, Jane. Thank you. When the stat lock is removed, it is important to prevent the pick line from moving. Some staff will secure the line on the arm with micropore. Make sure you advise the patient to remain still. Okay, now just leave your arm nice and still now. Try not to move it at all. Okay. I'm just going to go and wash my hands and then we'll get the dressing done. The nurse washes her hands and dons her protective equipment. This minimises the risk of infection. The nurse will then make a clinical judgement as to whether it is necessary to wear a mask or not. The nurse will clean the area around the catheter site, remove blood or ooze from the catheter insertion site with normal saline, then apply 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol solution, beginning at the insertion site and under the hub. Swab using a circular motion in concentric circles from the site outwards. Repeat a total of three times using a new swab for each application. The solution needs to air dry for 30 seconds. Do not wipe, fan or blot before the stat lock is applied. I'm just going to put this little towel here, Vic. If 
you, if you're staying still, and that's lovely, just stay nice and still for me, okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna start cleaning the, um, with the solution now. It can be a little bit cold, but there's just a little bit of dried blood there, so I just wanna get that off. Yeah, that's good. It's a bit cold, but it, it doesn't hurt. Does that feel okay? Yeah, that's good. It's a bit cold, but okay. I'm just about to start using the chlorhexidine now, and that one can sting a little bit. Okay. But we need it to clean the area. Does that feel okay? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's cold, but it's not stinging. That's great to hear. I'm being careful not to move the pick line because it needs to stay in place. All right, last one now. Alrighty, I'm just going to put a skin protectant pad on there for you. This just keeps your skin nice and um, stops it from getting irritated from all the sticky that goes oh, on it. Okay, that's good. I can be a bit allergic to plaster and adhesive sometimes. But you've had no troubles with this one? Not so far. That's excellent. Um, let us know if anything does happen. Okay. Alrighty. Have you seen the stat lock before? Oh no, I've never seen one like that before. So these two little prongs, they go in right there, mm -hmm. okay? And so that's what holds it to your skin and okay. stops it from falling out if you were running around. Okay. Is that okay? All good. The transparent dressing acts as a barrier to infectious agents. It also allows visibility at the insertion site. There are alternative dressings in cases of skin irritation. Dressings should be marked with a date so that we know when the dressing is due for a change. The pick line should also be measured to ensure that it hasn't migrated during the dressing change. This measurement is very important and is documented, including a copy for the patient to keep. If the measurements change, contact the doctor, an x-ray may be needed. Is that okay, not too tight? No, that's perfect. I'm just going to put the date on there just to remind you when it needs to be changed again. Oh, okay. Thanks so much, Jane. You're very thorough. Thank you. There we go, Vic. All done. Lovely. Standard aseptic non-touch technique is used for flushing the pick line with normal saline. Consult the manufacturer's recommendations to see if heparin solution is required. A new bung will be attached at the time of the dressing change. Clean the access port vigorously with at least 15 seconds with 70% alcohol swab and allow to dry. A syringe with the internal diameter of 10 mil or larger should be used to avoid excessive pressure. Flush in a pulsatile push-pause motion, creating turbulence which helps to clear the internal surface of the catheter from blood and drugs which may adhere to the catheter. The dressing and flush should be documented in the patient's records. I've changed the bung, now I'm just going to give the line a flush. Okay. So I'm just going to give it a little clean and then we just need to let it dry. It's just, just a second. Alrighty. So I'm just going to flush it with some salty water. You might feel a little bit of coldness. Okay. That's normal. Oh yeah, it's just a little bit cold. 
Why do you stop and start with a flush? We do a pulsatile motion to try and stop anything from sticking to the line, so it's to get rid of blood or drugs that might have gone through there prior, just to make sure that it's all gone up the lumen oh, so it doesn't get blocked okay. up. But that's everything done now. Great. You're on. Thank you. Oh, good. That was a really good job, Jane. Thank you. The procedure concludes with the segregation and disposal of waste, the cleaning of trays and trolleys, and hand hygiene. Lastly is the documentation in the patient's records where we make note of the measurement of the pick, the type of dressing used, the date and the time.